Does your bank balance look like this? And you want to make it look more like this? Well, I can show you how. I've got five methods for you. In no particular order, method one. So method one is doing contracts. Now they're found in the contracts tab in uh, your menu. And one of the best ones I recommend you doing is the fertilizing ones. Because well, depending on the size of the field, you can get a lot of money. Now, I also don't re recommend you actually use their equipment. I would recommend you just accept the equipment and buy buying one of these sort of um, well, fertilizer spreaders. So they're found if you go to the little, that little icon, go to fertilizer spreaders, the first one. It has a big working width compared to other ones and it's not too expensive. And of course, once you've done that, you'll look for the field uh, you did a contract for. So in this case, the field I'm doing shows at the top is field nine. And field nine happens to be at the top here. It also flashes, so nice and easy to do. And yeah, it's very, very simple. Now, if we just drive over there and or complete this thing, you'll see how much money you actually get. And as I say, like, well, as we're just finishing off this field, really doesn't take too long. This is 30 seconds work, if that. And the fact is, you don't even have to do the full field or do it particularly neatly, because it has such a big buffer that, yeah, I bet I won't even have to get to the end of this field and still get paid or still get it task complete. Maybe you will. Who knows? There you go. Didn't even have to get to the end. So once you... Don't even bother to do it. Once you get there, go to the complete and collect your money. And you get paid for it. So like I say, bigger fields get you paid a lot more than smaller fields, but money's money. Especially when this is just a little side job when you've got nothing to do on your own farm. But let's move on to uh, money making strategy number two. Okay, so the second method of doing, uh, well, getting a lot of money, is trees. Now, trees, very underrated. The prices for the wood don't actually uh, decrease ever. Throughout the year, always the same price. So that's a bonus. And uh, not too difficult to do whenever you have a bit of free time. Now, you can go for trees like this. So these are just like your normal uh, trees that you'd find in the world, like, almost like this has a lot of branches, but you can just cut all the branches off, pile them up, sell them as well. And uh, yeah, you could just, you know, cut cut these in, into sections. And jobs are good. You know, like that. And one of them goes corrupt because the game loves me. Cool. But the option, that, well, the choice that I would choose is a lot of trees actually look more like this in certain ones, especially like uh, No Man's Land. So you cut down one of these trees, and then you remove all the branches by literally just dragging it over it, as so. And yeah, that's it. So from there, you can just, you know, cut it up into your sections of logs. So should get four logs from one of these trees. And yeah, jobs are good. Un. So you've cut you've cut up your wood. If you had something like super strength, you can just, you know, pick up logs easy enough. Like, you know, doesn't really matter. However, not especially at console players, they don't have super strength. So you would have to use something like a tractor with a front loader and a log grab on it. So what I recommend you do when you're trying to use a log grab is you, you go above the log, sort of grab it down, give it a little tilt forward, grab your log, and then rotate it up, like that. And then make sure your grab is nice and attached on. And using this method, you can technically pick up two, but yeah. If you want to see me using a log grab, I have a, a series I'm actually currently doing with a lot of logs. Yeah, so then you just dump it into a trailer, and yeah, you'd continue, load up, nice and easy. I like these trailers because it has a tow hitch on the back of them, so you could attach as many as you want, but it's a modded trailer, like I say, so. 
but yeah, two is logs. From there you would go and sell it to either a um, heating plant or wherever you can on the map you're playing on. Now, on to uh, money making strategy number three. Okay, so strategy number three is uh, probably quite well known to some people, maybe not to others. It's actually chickens, because egg prices are super high. So you get two types of chicken pens. You get the small one, and you get the big one. If you go to the, um, your, uh, whatever it is, placeable place, <laughs> you go to animals, you go to chickens, you can see, you've got two options. You can either spend 6,000 to get a, one this size, or pretty much 80,000 to get a much bigger one. And that just depends on how many chickens you really want. You could, the smaller one carries 30, bigger one carries 360. So, still good. From there, you can... Oh, I'm stuck. You can come over to here and uh, buy. I recommend you buy, like, one chicken. Like, I mean, one hen. One roost or whatever. And then you want to buy... Well, it doesn't really matter. They'll reproduce at a rapid rate anyway. But I'm going to buy 20. Depending on how much money you want, to, you're willing to spend. Depends on how much you're going to get. As you can see, chickens are in there, and then you're going to have to feed them. So you can feed them with wheat. You can feed them with. In this case, I'm using sorghum. Uh, I believe you can feed them with something else. I can't remember what. But yeah, fill it up. Now that'll last a couple of days, so don't worry too much about that. And the good, the great thing is they don't require any water, so that that's them good. If you go to the um, menu again, you can go to the cow looking icon, and this shows your animal coop. And this shows how many eggs they're currently, and how productive they are, actually are. Don't worry about the health, that'll increase, uh, because you just haven't given them any food. And it also shows how much uh, food they actually have. So like I say, chickens, once they're at least six months old they can reproduce, I got some older ones so they're fine. They're all good. But you don't need them to reproduce, necessarily. The, um, depending on, yeah, you could just fill them up with a really cheap chickens. But yeah, if I uh, give it overnight you'll see an egg pallet will spawn. And as if by magic, it's the next day. And as you can see, there you go. A pallet of eggs, or a pallet of spawned and some eggs have uh, been put on it. And as you can see on the pallet, it's currently got 108 pieces. Now, that's not too bad, so that's one day, or one month in this case. However, that's only 20 chickens. If you went to the actual thing and had a look at how much uh, uh, eggs are actually worth, wherever it is, eggs. You can see, prices can be, well this is a low price at the moment. Yeah, we're in, we're in a low point, but eggs can get up to like 6,000 per thousand litres, so it can be very profitable. On to the next money method strategy. Okay, so the fourth way of making money, alongside everything else, is greenhouses. Now greenhouses, again, are another thing which you place into the world. If you go to production, there is a greenhouse option. They come in three sizes, so we've got small, medium and large. Small costs 3,000, medium costs 5,000, and large costs 10,000. And the only difference between the sizes is how much they actually produce, as you could probably guess. Now, I would say if you can, just go for the biggest one. Is it like, best for the space? Doesn't really matter though. But yeah, so that's them. And all you'll need is a water, a way to fill them up with water, so you fill them up. I like Sue. Now they'll use quite a lot of water, so you, with a little tanker like this, you'll have to fill it up a couple of times. But that's alright. I'm not telling you how to fill things up, I'm just telling you how to make the money. Now if you go inside your greenhouse, this is, is the same for all of them, and you click onto this icon here, I think. Is it this icon? There you go. It actually shows all of them. So in this case we're in the medium one. Now I recommend you grow lettuce. You can grow whatever you want, but I, I recommend lettuce or tomatoes. Strawberries actually seem pretty good. You also messed about. They might have changed since I did it. But the biggest thing you want to do 
is change your output to selling. That way, I'm just going to activate all of them. That way, as soon as they actually produce any sort of, uh, well, they will produce, but once they've produced a hundred, uh, you can actually, you'll see these, once they've produced a hundred litres, they'll sell their pallet. Or is it maybe a hundred and twenty, I can't remember. But yeah, so that's just passive income. As long as you keep them watered, they'll just produce money infinitely. If you want to make it more hard or more difficult, you can set it to storing, which will create pallets along the side here. You can load them up and go and sell them. You'll get slightly more money, but you know, more work. So yeah, that's my greenhouse tip, which is number four. On to the fifth method of making money. Okay, so the fifth method of making money is uh, placeable buildings. So just passive income buildings. Now, in actual generate in the generation tab, sort of if you if you go to uh, buildings, uh, you go to production. Uh, what is it? Pro yeah, production and generators. You'll see we have five options. Now, in order here shows a different generation. So the smallest little turbine generates 648 per hour. Then you, the next one is the wind turbine, which produces 984. And then we've got the large solar panel, which is almost 9,000 per month. And then we have this bigger turbine. So these are starting to get expensive, mind. Which generates 13,000 per month. And we have the absolutely excessively big turbine, which generates 67,000 per month. Now, depending on the difficulty you're playing on, these will change. But these are just, again, another passive income methods. Once you've placed them down, they'll slowly pay themselves off. There are other ways of uh, generating passive income, in a sense. And these can be something like bees. Bees, as long as you've got a pallet place, they will just make pallets you can go sell them. Um, they also, well, they also wait actually enhance the crops if you put them next to certain fields but yeah who cares about them and of course the other thing is some buildings have in this in this case have a um, solar panel roof so in this case it'll generate 1440 per month just as well as being a big open space like a good place to park your things just you know add some solar panels to a roof i think yep yeah, there's another one there the little smaller one only generates 480 so it's still passive income but yeah that's these are not as looked at I feel like as much but they're good they're good ways of making money especially in the long term over the years you'll notice a benefit even if they're just to pay off like your monthly uh, rent or uh, leasing costs or whatever but yeah they're my four options or five options five methods of making money in farming simulator now I have a sneaky little sixth one which, well, let's just face it, it's a cheat. Now, if you use something like power tools, you can just, you know, go to here, your, your fifth tab, add or remove money. And then, you know, you just do like, let, let's just, uh, yeah, let's just let's press nine. And uh, yeah, I'm a multimillionaire. Cool. Thank you. And that's us done. Now, if you enjoyed or any of these help, uh, please, you know, help me out and maybe give me a sub or like the video because, yeah, it helps. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have found this entertaining and I'll see you all next one. Bye!